Okay, first off, I want to touch on the tuning a bit. The song is tuned a whole step and a half down every string, but it maintains the standard tuning, you know, shapes. So if you don't want to detune your guitar that much, I would just memorize the positions and just play it in whatever key, you know, works for you. Okay. I'm going to show you the pattern that is going to uh, pretty much get you through this whole song. Starting off with the third fret on your A and B string, pluck it together, followed by open G, third fret on your A string again, and then pluck the third on the A and B again. And uh, I'm not using a pick for this. You can use a pick, but I think it sounds better and warmer without it. So let me just loop that pattern for you. And then all you'll do is just move that pattern around. On the same pattern, you're just going to be moving your uh, lead fingers around. So you're going to go from the third fret. to the seventh, back to the third, up to the tenth, back to the seventh. You run that whole pattern again. This time ending on the eighth. Let me touch on that real quick. When you get to that part, you're going to do the little pattern three times. When you end, you want to just kind of strum it out, but you want to make sure you mute the D string whenever you do this. So for the verse, same lead pattern, 3rd fret, off of your A string, and B. This time you're going to move your middle finger up to the 3rd fret on the low E, pluck the low E and the high B, open G, 3rd fret on the low E, and then pluck the two together again, 3rd fret on the low E and the, high, or the, and the B. Next to the 5th fret, leading off the A string. And then 6th fret, leading off the low E. Same pattern. Same pattern as the first one. And it will end on 7th fret, leading off the A string and the B. Back into the chorus. So altogether slow on that one. For the chorus, same deal, everything's off, leading off the A string and the B. You go 3rd, 10, 7, 3rd, 10, 7 again. This time you'll end on the 8th fret one time through. And give it a strum out. Just 
basic power chords. I did grab a pick for this. Um, if you're going to be doing finger style, you know, you can just strum with your thumb. Uh, base, like I said, basic power chords, it's going to be a, you know, third fret power chord, like a, where a G power chord would be. Third fret leading off of your uh, low E to an E flat power chord shape, which is sixth fret leading off your A, eight off your D, eight off your G, back to fourth fret off your low E, six off your A, six off your D. And then it'll take you back into the intro riff. So for the outro, you want to just double the chorus. But a little way to mix it up and, you know, beef up the song a little bit is you can kind of strum out the chords. You want to just, you know, make sure you mute the D string throughout. And you want to just kind of aim for the inner four strings. Let me give you a little example. <laughs> 